Welcome everybody, I'm Joshino, and today I'm going to be breaking down patch 1.2 for Paladins titled The American Dream. What a pun, eh? What a pun. Anyway, this patch has been a little bit different. Normally I cover some things straight as it came out of the gate, although this patch was rather minor and met with a little bit of controversy. However, the devs have since responded to that, and there's kind of a little bit of insight on what's coming next alongside what we're actually getting in this patch. I'm going to try and talk about a little bit of both during this patch update. Before I start, I've already covered American in another video with a full gameplay of him, but that's the new skin, the new one in the world chest, or you can buy it for direct purchase for I think 600 crystals, and that gameplay should be in the background now of this video too. So as I said, this patch is smaller, it includes some balancing, although again the balancing is a bit minor, and the next big content update, like the Rise of Fury event, will be 1.3, which will be in a few weeks, and that will also come with another battle pass, I think, or at least the battle pass on this current battle pass will be ending. So getting on to the balance, and this is where things get a little bit heated. So for the past few patches, a lot of people have been complaining about certain talents for champions that have extreme burst damage potential, especially the Maeve Street Justice and the Cassie Impulse. Maeve, this patch, has had her Street Justice have the reduced bonus damage. This is the talent card that increases your damage by a percentage for the amount of health already lost by an enemy champion. And that's going from bonus damage of 30% to 25% this patch. And it's actually already live. That 5% though isn't hugely noticeable when you're playing the game and Maeve plays out pretty much the same. I'm also going to get a video out covering the new Maeve. I've got a full game of that. Uh, it pretty much just works the same way, hammering down on the tanks really, kind of shredding if they have the two tank lineup. The other side of it is with the cards Persistence, Sixth Sense and Scar Tissue. These are all cards that give damage reduction. Now the most important one I think is Sixth Sense. This is the one where you get damage reduction after the pounce, which combos with the Street Justice. And the bigger thing is that the duration of it is going from 3 seconds, so you get the damage reduction from 3 seconds, to 2 seconds, and the damage reduction itself is going from 6% at each level to 5%. Now it's not a mega nerf, but this was actually one of the things that allowed you to just use your pounce reset the pounce, pounce again, and then you'd have quite a lot of damage reduction to stay alive whilst you're fighting. Now Hyres have talked about all of the talents being reworked at mid-season, and moreover they're trying to look at talents which they can bring up to the level of talents currently in the game that are performing well. Hyres are showing off some stats, but basically the, the short of it is that from OB67 to 1.1, Street Justice went up by about 5% win rate overall in ranked and about 3 or 4% in casual. And generally the pick rate increased exponentially for the ranked pick rate of Street Justice Maeve in 1.1 was 70% compared to 41% in OB67. What they're saying is like what I said, they're basically trying to make it harder for her to jump dive straight in willy nilly trying to kill the tanks and not I'm not worrying about that damage, but it's burst damage she might receive when she goes into it. And they may look again at mid-season. Although, as always, we haven't got it this patch, so we can only judge stuff off of what we have here. The same with Cassie, there isn't too much for tweaking. In fact, Impulse isn't touched at all. She only has her reload time take going from 1 second to 1.4 seconds, and a Quiver card going from, instead of 2 ammo at each level, to 1 ammo. Now both of those things I don't think really affect her all too much. It does limit her damage per second and her, her continued damage output. But a lot of the time, I think the big problem with the impulse is that you fire it off, fire it off with your shot, you've got a big burst, you're killing somebody in two or three shots with the burst included. So it doesn't really matter about the rest of the shots, you can roll away, reload in peace a lot of the time. I mean it is still a nerf and it's going to have an impact, but it's not quite the change we were looking for. Zinn also got a response to a nerf, but also, again, not to the talent card that people are struggling with, the Yomi card. So each of his Infernal Blade shots, the first two shots will do 50 less damage, going from 450 to 400 damage. This does mean it does require an extra hit when you're going after support champions, and I guess this is what they're going for, although the Yomi damage still stands, and that extra burst. Now, talking about all of these three, again, Hyras might change this up, and what they're saying is they want to look at all of the other talent cards 
in the game and try and bring other ones up to sort of meet the level of some of the cards that are being picked up. And I do think that there are one pick wonders a lot of the time. I think that's part of the issue, but also that these bursty cards aren't fun to play against and don't really have many counters and don't necessarily need much skill to pull off. I don't think any of the three really. Maeve's Pounce is really easy to hit. Cassie's Splash Shot is relatively easy to hit with a little bit of practice. And Zen's Yomi also isn't really skillful. And I think it actually comes down to a lot of the time having four talent cards in the first place is a lot to balance for and you probably, I don't know how high res will ever get it so that all four cards are viable. I've even said that there's some cards that they think that are just fun. Personally, I'd take a step back get rid of one of the talent cards and try and balance between three like they did before. In all honesty, going back to when there were no talent cards or legendary cards as they used to be called at all was actually kind of maybe a better experience. It's hard to say at this point, talent cards do give an extra layer of strategy when you're trying to pick and counter pick with champions and give them the ability to react to the enemy picks. But at the same time, a lot of the, the, the base cards and the abilities were reduced when the legendary cards came out and more emphasis put on the talent cards and also sometimes the characters themselves the champions have their base kits nerfed or base kits changed when it feels that that's kind of unnecessary so my, my suggestion would be to chop off one of the legendary cards or talent cards for each of the champions and maybe go back to the drawing board about the three as it just seems to be a little bit too much the two other things that have been balanced so khan has been quite a strong frontliner for a while and obviously with the american skin now uh, but the overpower the ultimate uh, the hold portion of the ultimate not the throw can now be reduced by crowd control reduction two though lasts for a minimum of two seconds so you can get your resilience to reduce the time that you're in this ultimate if you're against a khan and a bomb king it's going to be a big surefire pickup to get some resilience especially if you're a frontline or a supporter something that's going to be on the ground and not flanking around that might not be caught in the crowd control i think it's a really good change khan has been quite strong these past few patches and tweaking a little back, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Talus 2 has got an update with their Blitz Upper, which has now a slightly increased radius. This has been nerfed and buffed and nerfed quite a bit. I think it's actually two nerfs and then now a buff on this ability. I think it is easier to hit now and just a bit more effective. So I, I think it's just a nice little touch for Talus. But that's pretty much it from the balancing this patch. And again, it's quite limited in what we've seen coming. So coming back to what Hyrus have said they're looking at at the moment is also Drogos. I think something that's been complained about quite a bit because they basically buffed the projectile speed of the rockets and now Fusillard is performing very well. They're saying that Fusillard will be nerfed in the next patch 1.3 and they're also going to be buffing the Reign of Terror, the Salvo card. And apparently that one was meant to come in in 1.2 but didn't quite make it. I think it's generally a good thing. Drogos again is quite annoying to play against with the Fusillard. Getting two shot isn't always the most fun thing in the world. Finally what they're saying is they don't want to, they want to take a more conservative approach to the mid patches, the smaller patches over the big patches because they're not running the public test server for them. So they don't want to over nerf or over buff a champion because obviously it could have a big impact and they can't really test it out in a large scale. Although I don't know whether that's the best excuse really. I don't know why they just don't put the patches on the PTS. I mean it was announced Thursday and released on Wednesday. So that could have been a very long PTS cycle, the public test server cycle. So I'm not sure exactly why that happened. So that I didn't even get any PTS footage. That's why my video is a little bit later on. It went straight to live, which, <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't get it completely. I know that the PTS probably wouldn't be played as much because there's not as much content, but there might've been a few hundred people playing it in the first few days, trying to try everything out, getting a little practice in, but there we go. And again, it looks like in 1.3 and mid season, we're going to be getting a, a tweak of all talent cards that aren't hitting the mark at the moment and aren't being used. Well, that could completely change the meta and completely fluctuate the state of the game. Could be in a good way or a bad way. Again, I kind of hoped they'd maybe cut off one of the talent cards for is quite a lot to balance for. Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on that in the comments section below. And finally, they did fix a few bugs that were in 1.1 that you might not be experiencing now, although a few seem to have snuck through. Some audio bugs and also some animation ones. Lex sometimes goes into a bit of a T-pose type thing. Looks kind of reminiscent of the Realm Royale situation, but the ones they fixed, so Furious Conviction, this is the card that added stun duration on the Pyre Strike, so it doesn't last as long as it did before. It's like five seconds. It was something ridiculous, not five 
five seconds, like doubling it before when it wasn't meant to. One annoying one was when you got healed as a Khan by the Voidabyte's talent on Ceres, is one that spreads out. It would get stuck and just basically play all the time and bug on you. So you'd spawn and you'd still be getting healed by this Ceres heal. So you couldn't really tell if you're being healed or not. And then sometimes the map would be completely crazy. So that one's fixed. So that one's a nice little fix up there. They also fixed the Rise of Fury and music bundle and uh, not playing in all game modes. That's in there. And that's quite an epic score, actually. I actually like that one. I've got it set up. And apparently quite a lot of fixes went to the Nintendo Switch version. And again, this has been released. So if you're playing the game now, it was only like a 200 megabyte update. You will have Paladins 1.2 on Switch, Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Anyway, what do you think about all the changes in this patch? Everything coming and the Americom. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for all my content and hit that bell icon to become part of the notification squad. Thanks for watching folks. Joshino.